watched my videos here at Bromic Digital, you've listed your shop on Jumia, set up your products, and now you have received a new order but you don't know what to do, this video will ultimately be the solution, okay? So now, as you can see here in my email, I've received a new email, okay? So I always get, you will always get a notification in your email whenever there is a new order, okay? So they're saying you have a new order, okay? Saying, hi, Brian, you have a new order in, G in Jumia Seller Center. So basically, the details of the order are also there, yeah? So whenever you receive that, that uh, email, you can just go ahead and click on uh, Jumia Seller Center. Or, okay, or, um, so basically, once you've received the order, what you're expected to do is, you're supposed to go and uh, uh, go to the seller center, uh, and then you, you book that uh, book that um, order, okay? So, and then uh, once you've done all that, you can then go and drop off the item at the, the nearby uh, Jumia, uh, Jumia drop-off center. Okay, so depending on wherever you are living, uh, where, wherever you are living, that is where you will go and drop nearby. There are very many actually around the town, around town. So, you can just let me know, uh, comment. Let me know if you don't know where you are nearby, uh, drop off point is. I'll be able to guide you. Okay, so once you've logged into the, the seller center, this is how the interface looks like. Okay, this is how the interface looks like in there. So you'll actually find a red uh, mark, okay, telling uh, all under orders, okay. So you basically have to go under orders, and once you've gone under orders, you can then be able to identify the order, okay. So you can see my order is here that has been placed, the order number, the order date, everything is just here, okay. So what is the what is expected of me? <coughs> I'm supposed to go and uh, click on ready to ship. So once you've clicked to ready to ship, then you have to go and select the vendor point where you're going to um, ship that product or put that product so that Jumia is able to deliver to the final client. Okay. So me, I'll click UG Starline <coughs> because it is the nearest where I stay. I stay in Golovi, so this is like the nearest uh, uh, drop off point. So once you've done that, you can then go and hit and click ready to ship. So when you, once you click on ready to ship, the, the order says order is ready to be shipped, okay? <coughs> so basically the next step now is to carry your product, okay? And then you take it to the Jumia uh, vendor point. So once all that is done, and uh, you take the uh, Jumia vendor point, basically it will, show, it will now move to shipped, yeah? So basically that is where you can always find all the details of your order so you can see these are some of the orders that have completed that have delivered okay so the seller center is a very very important it's very, very important that you get to understand what everything about the seller center okay so now you see i've clicked the item ready to ship i'll show you i'll again shoot another video when i have already dropped the the, the item at the junior uh drop of points so to be to see how it looks like in the interface okay so if you so far got any value from this video, don't hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you always in the know whenever I upload new content. Okay. So um, everything to do with your orders, just go to orders and then say manage orders. So basically, once you've done, drop the item at your uh, vendor point. This is how the item will look like. It will go to shipped. Okay. Shipped is what. So once you drop the item. Uh, the Jumia vendor point and Jumia and then uh, accept that you've actually delivered the item, it will then be moved to shipped. Okay, so from shipped is where you have to keep monitoring your seller, your seller, uh, the seller center. So that once even once it has been shipped, okay, that is it is an indication that has been dropped at the vendor point for okay, Jumia vendor point. So when Jumia finally delivers the item to the the client it will ultimately go to completed okay or delivered so that is how you can keep track of all all your orders that you have done okay so like a, uh, if you repeat to do a quick summary it will always go you first have to click on ready to ship so 
once you have your item, you take it to the engineer vendor point, you click on ready to ship. And once you've done that, click on ready to ship, you can then go ahead and take it to the vendor point. So once you take it to the uh, vendor point and you may acknowledge that you've actually dropped the item to the vendor point so that they're able to take it to the client, then it will now move to ship it. Okay. So basically, in and uh, once it has been uh, delivered to the client, your item will now reflect. Will now be able to reflect that it has been delivered. So this, like I said earlier, these are some of the delivered items. And also, if it hasn't been delivered, or it has it has failed to be delivered, maybe because of many reasons. Probably the client had made the cancellation of the order, or um, or maybe uh, there are very many reasons why. Like maybe the, the your product that you ship to the client didn't match the expectation of the client or the requirements of the client. Then it will go to delivered fail, delivery failed. So basically, you also have some uh, delivery that are, delivery that have failed, and once the delivery has failed, finally they will do what the uh, junior will return the item to you. Okay, they will communicate to you. They will send you an email telling you the item has been returned, and then you can uh, you will find it reflected there under return. Okay, so you can then. You personally go and pick up your item that has been that has been returned, or you can uh, assign a picker. Okay, a picker is someone basically who helps you to uh, pick an item on your behalf. Eh? In the event that you don't maybe have time or something, they can go to the junior and pick up the returned item. Okay, so basically, uh, Bromic Digital he is here to teach you all the basics, all the things, not even the basics actually, the detailed. Um, everything you will want to know about Jumia, just reach out to people to and be able to reach out to you and assist you. Okay, so these are some of my pickers that actually earlier on um, assigned. That means they can always go and pick for me any items that have been returned. Okay, so or if you have the time, you can always go there and pick them up yourself. Eh? You, you don't have to assign a picker. Okay, so. Uh, in a nutshell, this is this is all about the video. I hope you've gotten value. So if you've gotten value, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Okay. So, uh, so this is you need to be very very familiar with this interface because it is very very important as junior seller. So you, this is uh, my products. Okay, you go to manage products and this is where you can display all your. This is where all your displayed products go or appear. Okay. So you need to always check on your shop and see if all your products are alive, or pro if all products are alive, if all products <coughs> are up to date in terms of the pricing. Okay, it is very very important for you to uh, have a success on Junior. Okay, so like I always tell you, you can actually make money with Junior remotely without having even a physical shop like I'm doing. Okay. So if you want uh, a one-on-one -on -one coaching, please reach out to be able to assist you with everything, you know, okay, about Jumia, okay. So if you want to raise a claim, the claim is, in case you have any issue with Jumia, this is where you go at, you click on raise a claim, and Jumia will be able, ultimately be able to respond to you. So basically Jumia is there 